Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about how to set up the design and the color choices and the graphic choices of your website. So, not necessarily the content, I'd consider this the content, but the design, which is the color and the wrapper and just the general overall, overall appearance of your website. So, to do that, you log into your control panel. We're going to want to go to Site Design. And from here, you've got control over the design, the shape, and, uh, and the color, and the different graphics that make up your design. So for instance, uh, we've got line one, line two, and line three. Uh, so let's come back out to your website. Line one is this, line two is this here, and line three is there. Now depending on the design, those could be in different spots, but when in doubt, you can come over here to text definitions, and it'll tell you basically where those lines go. Or you can always say uh, your website name. So I'm going to do that. Now, as soon as I made that change, you can see this little red box came up and said, hey, we, we've got to save those changes if you want them to take effect. So I'll click here. I'll come back and hit refresh. And you can see that your website name showed up. So I was able to change that. Just like line one or line two, I can change that. So usually this is the name of your site your domain name, and possibly your email or your phone number. Uh, so let's come back into the control panel. So that's where you change that information. Now, the footer, which is always down here at the bottom, maybe we want to change this information. Come in here, it says click here to edit footer. So your website, maybe I want to put my phone number, Great, I come in here and say update. Now, come back here, hit refresh. You can see that now the phone number is there. So, real simple, this, these are titles, there's the footer. Now, let's get into the design itself. So, currently our design is blue, it's got this menu across the top. So, if I want to change that, I come into site design and I just say change. Now, from here, I can choose any shape and you don't really need to worry about the colors necessarily, we'll, we'll choose those later. Let's just choose a basic shape. So let's say I'm going to choose Design 1200. So I'll choose that. Now I need to choose a color. So I hit Change on the color. Choose the color that most suits me, so I'm going to go with this one here. Now I need to choose an image that goes in here. And again, if we want to know uh, Image 1 and Image 2, some, some of the the designs use two images, some use one. Uh, when in doubt, I can always come here to image definitions and it tells me exactly uh, where those images go. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to come here to my image, select image one. Now, I can choose from some stock photography that's loaded in here, so cooking. We've got them pre-sized and pre-done. So let's, for instance, let's just choose this one for now. And then, again, because I've made some changes, this little red box says to save those changes, you have to click Update. So I'm going to click Update. Let's go see what we've done. Hit Refresh. And we've really changed the, the color, we've changed the shape, we've changed this website. Uh, now, I just use the preloaded graphics, but one thing to note is that you can also upload your own custom graphics, or let's go in here, we've got a small video or flash library. So let's go to uh, forests and mountains, for instance. And then I'm just going to choose these clouds. I think it's there. Hit update. Come back out here, hit refresh. And you can see that now I've got that little flash video playing there. But what a lot of people like to do is upload a custom graphic. So again, I'm going to go back to change. And to upload a custom graphic, you'd come here custom image. So instead of choosing from the photo library, you'd come to custom image. And you can see that for this particular design, it's very important that you upload a graphic that's exactly that size, 730 pixels wide by 136 pixels high. 
and and if you look in our help videos you can see that there uh, are some graphics on how to size videos if you don't know how uh, you can uh, have a designer do it and know that that we're always here to do it uh, for us to do it we can we can have our uh, art department uh, bid you or quote you a price for for doing it for you or it's available right here you can do it yourself once you've sized the graphic and it's ready, it's, it's exactly those dimensions, then you just browse your hard drive and upload, and then it's ready to use. I believe this one's been sized, so let's choose that one. Click Update, and hit Refresh. There, you can see that we're using a, a custom image there, just an example. Uh, and that is pretty much uh, working with your design, and again, you know, you've got different designs here. If you don't like what you did there, no big deal. Choose a different one. Choose a color. Let's choose a graphic. Update. So you can see how fast you can change these designs. And voila! Completely different looking website. And, and you can do it in seconds. And that's how you work with design.